David Nambale, a former corporate secretary of NSF at the time, NSF procured the IPO when the shares last year in November showed up before the Select Committee of Parliament probing financial proprietor at NSSF and fraudulent procurement of Umeme shares IPO phase one at 51 billion shillings. Nambale, who had been summoned to account for his role as the NSF legal advisor, told the committee there was a lot of machinations by key players within NSSF to have the Umeme IPO shares bought first in his absence and second without his legal advice. My interest was again, although the horses have bolted, there is still a window for the SG to give his blessing. I think I also mentioned, I mentioned about the need to take this to the board. I think I did, that we need everyone to be on board. In the DD, we, I also brought it to the attention of management that Parliament had, had there was a draft report of the, I think there was an ad hoc committee investigating the energy sector and that there was a draft recommendation to to terminate the concession. So by way of information, I brought it to the attention of Mick. Whereas the players scored to procure the controversial shares in his absence, he also attempted on November 7th, 2013, to engage the Solicitor General of Government with a view that he would recall the transaction. SG replied to you, Mr. Mm. Chairman, he replied that since the transaction is already concluded, NSSF fund does not need legal advice of this office. Seeking legal advice from this office is not a mere formality. We, I wrote to the SG, you know this, I've sort of given an account of the circumstances of this transaction. It was not the ordinary transaction. Okay, there was tremendous pressure, written and unwritten. Okay, I, I am part of a team. I have to get I know the law requires that the fund gets legal advice from the Attorney General. By the time I get the bank guarantee, the horses have already bolted. But it is important I go on record because I knew that one day this day would come. I knew that one day I will be asked, what did you about the legal advice? Somebody could have said if I hadn't written that letter that yes, you wrote to Mick, Whose responsibility was it to seek the advice of the SG? So I was between a rock and a hard place. Whom were you helping in this one? I was helping myself. How? Because I wanted to go on record. That's why, Mr. Chairman. But uh, I've also known Mr. Chairman in the past. Did you inform the SG that although I'm writing to you this letter, the deal has already been concluded? Yes, sir. The, the annex charge to the letter clearly show that the deal has been concluded because I annexed the bank guarantee. Number stressed that the bank guarantee issued by Standard Chartered Bank of 51 billion shillings also had reservations. No variations to the terms of this guarantee are permitted without prior written agreement of all the contracting parties. Okay? So in my view, if I had been involved, I would have asked the bank to put a condition in here that the payment of this money is subject to obtaining clearance from the Solicitor General. It would still be a good guarantee. Nambale also pointed to political pressures, both internal and external, prior to the procurement. There was a lot of pressure, both written and unwritten. These are your words. Yes, sir. Uh, could you be open to this uh, committee by revealing to us the sources uh, of the pressure points? The pressure is, first of all, as a team. It's like a football team. Okay? You're working as part of a team, and uh, there is a, a desire to conclude a transaction, okay, to make some money for the workers. And... Uh, it's being perceived as a unique opportunity. I don't know, Mr. Chairman, if you've been in a situation where you're, you're saying, okay, let's score this goal, but perhaps let's score it this way. And everybody else is saying, no, it should be the other way. So 
issues of doubt as to whether you're a team player uh, come up, okay? Uh, issues, statements like, you know, you are out to, to fail, uh, you, you know, you're out to fail us, come up. So you, you need to weigh those. You need to weigh your role, okay, your obligation to the institution as against the need to continue to maintain uh, a collegiate uh, framework. So uh, that is the kind of pressure. In spite of this, Nambale reveals that Umeme floating its shares had suffered from a heavy debt which it wanted to settle. I was aware as part of the DD on the financial side that the shareholder had given a loan to the company and uh, Umeme duly disclosed in its prospectus that the purpose of the IPO was to raise money to pay off the, that shareholder loan. Apparently, NSF is running a 4.7 trillion fund with 500,000 potential clients serving with it. Timothy Spassi, Vies Television,